Hey Virgo, this is Kelly from House of Virgo. Welcome to my channel. If you are new, please do hit the like, share, and subscribe button. This is going to be a, a reading for the next 24 hours for all Virgos. Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This will be a love reading. Um, so let's get started. Okay. So we look at the past energy, the hanged man, five of swords, the king of pentacles, Present is the Page of Pentacles, Page of Cups, and the Queen of Cups, and the Future, the Four of Wands, the Three of Pentacles, wow, the Sun. All right, very nice. Let's take a look here and see what the love messages are. Okay, so we do have Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, and Leo energy here on the board, okay? So let's see what the love messages are, the past energy, okay. Okay, past life relationship and soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate, okay. So this person from your past definitely felt like a soulmate past life connection here, okay. You have known each other before. Um, and I feel like your person from the past, this the hanged man is here, so feels like this person was kind of stuck in a situation and was really just trying to make the best of the relationship or whatever was going on in their life okay um, but it looks like there was some kind of cutoff of some sort in the past hmm yeah I don't know if like your person was in an abusive relationship in the past with somebody else could have been another earth sign um, but it feels like this person they may have cut the relationship off with you because they wanted to focus focus on their finances that seemed to be like they were mostly focusing I do feel like they felt this was like wow they felt that past life connection with you, that energy of like, oh, I, I feel like we've known each other forever. And there is there was a soulmate connection there for sure. Let's take a look at the hanged man and see what's going on here. Maybe you cut this person off so you could focus on work or your business. That king of pentacles energy, um, very solid, practical. Someone who um, is like an investor, could invest in money, invest in businesses. Very focused on quality, um, their life purpose mm. just kind of feels like um it feels like they had some type of new perspective and maybe they ended the relationship with you so they could focus on their business let's see the hangman okay so temperance is here yeah trying to come into balance uh seeking peace and harmony Let's see this Five of Swords. What can you tell me about this Five of Swords? Okay. Shadow side. Mm, that's a devil energy. So um, greed. This person was um, very focused on their money and their business and greed. Yeah, I feel like they, I do feel like they, um, hmm, they were really struggling to, they knew, it feels like they knew that they needed to have like some self-moderation or control, but it looks to me like greed got the best of them. And this, your person may have made uh, money a priority in your relationship and went with that or their work or career, made that a, a priority. King of Pentacles here. Yep, Knight of Pentacles just very focused on their career. You know, when they say third party affair, um, it feels to me like it wasn't another person. It feels to me like the interference was their work or their career, okay? Um, because those pentacles can represent safety and security. And this person for some reason felt safer um, and more they were seeking security, financial security, seeking all of that in their life, okay? We do have Sagittarius and Capricorn here as well. But the current energy, let's take a look. I, I can tell you though, that there was definitely for them 
they recognized that soulmate connection with you they recognized that past uh, past life connection like your person felt like you guys have known each other forever but they just had this wake-up call of some sort in their own mind that they for some reason felt like they needed to focus on their money and it feels like they were tempted by that to make that a priority over you in the relationship career work um, physical tangible things so if there was some kind of breakup or something because that five of swords is definitely um you know maybe they were like that and you cut it off or you cut them off um maybe it didn't feel right to you or you were trying to i feel like this person was really trying to get solid in some ways if it wasn't career or work they were just trying to get themselves stable let's take a look at the future here okay pay attention to the red flags finances and career there, this person in the present is waking up to the fact that they put other things in front of your relationship, okay? And there's going to be communication from them in the present about how they were. With that Page of Pentacles, I say this a lot in my readings, and I have to show you, for those of you who, who haven't noticed that I say that, look at that pentacle. He is not actually able to hold that pentacle. It's floating. So this is about concepts, ideas, um, and this is about somebody who is tremendously focused on what could be with, you know, that pinnacle energy with money. Okay. It's all about money. They were just, I feel like there's going to be communication from this person and there may be an apology, uh, coming along about how they realized, or they realize that uh, they were putting finances in career and it was a big red flag maybe the relationship ended or something ended because of that um yeah it, it was causing a stalemate what is this page of cups here page of swords okay truth coming out there's an apology yep they're they're broken hearted See, I was saying that three of swords, there it is. That third party in influence. That's what the red flag was. Was there somebody else? No. Um, if you're female and this is a male for you, they were um, having an affair with um, Mrs. Banks. <laughs> Mrs. Pentacle. That's what I feel like is going on. And I do see some type of an apology coming in here for blocking the relationship and the love um blocking it because they were focused on other things what they could attain their ideas their plans it was like it feels like this person will come in and tell you that they were putting the cart before the horse you know they had all these crazy ideas and they were although they were very in, influenced and uh that's something that they truly wanted at the same time I feel like there's an apology and sorrow for doing that, for not being considerate of, you know, it's kind of like they may have had an idea that they wanted to buy this big, beautiful, fancy home that you could live in together. But during all that, they'd forgotten about you or they just weren't opening up or communicating the love is how I feel. Okay, so that's what the red flag is coming up for this person. You know, um, they're seeing the signs. I feel like your person, like you guys aren't together right now because of that past energy. And I, I do see communication coming in um, from them. And with that Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy, that's somebody coming in, like getting really in touch. Sorry for not nurturing or bringing healing to this relationship, um, not being tolerant uh, and empathetic to your needs and things like that. And that Page of Swords is like truth. That's truth coming out. Let's take a look at the future. The future looks beautiful. Let your friends help you. 
an attraction. You track romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. Ask for and accept support from others. So I, the Four of Wands is here. The Three of Pentacles, both marriage cards in the sun, was positive, positive energy here. Good positive vibes, playful, joyous, fulfillment. Okay, so there's definitely going to be a reunion coming forward, or going into the future between the two of you. I do see commitment. I do see family. I do see some type of celebration here. Uh, somebody coming home. Okay, Six of Pentacles, reciprocity, give and take energy. Knowing this person coming forward and knowing that they needed to give to the relationship and, and share their wealth. Not that you are like a gold digger or anything, but the six is always, you know, that's a card about harmony, appreciation, self-sacrifice, loyalty, and responsibility, okay? To you, to the relationship, to the commitment, to the marriage, whatever your situation might be, to uh, family. And the three of pentacles here, teamwork, collaboration, Working together as a team to carve and build something together. And I see this person wanting to do this. Hey, you guys, look, the emperor's here. The emperor is back. So that's Aries energy, okay? Being a leader, being strategic, bossing up, okay? This person doesn't have to be alpha, male or female. But um, this is like really taking the lead here. Respect being a, a good father figure, okay? Um, I know some of you have children with this person and, you know, it just, things became very routine perhaps and the love was lost. Some of you may not, I'm just speaking to those of you who have children, um, putting the energy and the romance back into the relationship, an apology for letting other things come like everybody's got bills to pay everybody's got their, they have to do their work but when you're in a, a a marriage or a relationship committed relationship with someone right there, there has to be that romance right if not you're just business partners right and i feel like that might have been something in this connection that you felt like that was lost and i feel like this person the page of cups is new love so that's like bringing that love back in again and there's a joyous outcome here with the sun. The Knight of Wands, that lusty spirit, that fr that freedom, that connection. I feel like this person has very strong physical attraction to you here. That's what the attraction card is. And that becomes restored again in this relationship. That comes to fruition once more. And it, it, you know, if you had that before and that got lost, I feel like this person comes in to try to, you know, bring that back into the relationship. Um, somebody is like, it feels like your person is asking for help, um, maybe support, seeking support, um, how to be more, uh, have more reciprocity in the connection between the two of you. Okay. Bring more love into the it could be from friends or other couples who are in a very healthy relationship, okay? Um, let's get a couple of um, angel wisdom messages here for you, Virgo. Okay. Nine of Pentacles. Enjoying the fruits of your labors. Hard work that has led to a luxurious life. Buying yourself something special, happily and successfully self-employed, enjoying your solitude. Okay, so that does play a role, like I was saying. This person in the relationship might have just been, you know, it, it, I feel like for you, Virgo, it felt like it, it was like being with someone but still feeling single with them, okay? Um, and I think, Virgo, you took that energy on yourself as well, okay? Um, so there's financial success here for sure. And solo pleasures. I mean, I feel like those areas get attained and maybe your person needed to cut off the relationship so they could attain their financial, um, like career, uh, stability. Okay. Or money. And I do feel like that gets attained on both sides. Now we also have the five of fire. Conflicts with others caused by opposing opinions. Walk away from drama unless the situation is really worth your time. Then stand up for yourself. Very ambitious people. I feel like you and your person are very ambitious. 
Um, and that's a positive thing for both of you. But it's caused conflicts. Maybe there was competition between the two of you. For some of you. Okay? Caused a lot of drama. And there was a need to walk away. But I feel like you and your person feel that this relationship is worth it and standing up for yourselves and for the relationship as well okay let's see might have been some game playing as well okay i feel like finances and money are always going to be <laughs> they're always going to be a part right it's always going to play a role okay I definitely see a windfall of abundance. There's, it also says wise counsel, which is why I feel like somebody might be going to counseling. There might be marriage counseling or getting into some type of counseling situation together to make the relationship better. Um, there is an exciting career opportunity happening here for you or your person or both of you. Significant purchases like a home or vehicle. And I was feeling that when I said that, you know, like buying a home or wanting to buy this big, beautiful home and live in it together. Um, but manifesting this love, magic is alive in your life. What you need to be a successful manifest. If you believe it, you can do it. And I, I'm, I'm just picking up the energy of having this um, manifesting, both of you manifesting your dreams, but coming back into union and bringing that love back into this relationship. Both of you have some, there are some things I feel like you both want to achieve that are identical, but you, you both have different ways of um, achieving these things. Okay, surrendering, starting over, okay. Okay, facing fears, six of swords, facing those fears to manifest this new start again. Okay, the moon. Okay, getting in touch with the emotions, trusting the intuition here, deep emotions, getting away from the chaos and going into maybe a more domesticated situation or something more stable and lucrative, um, building a business together, but also, you know, bringing things into balance. And I feel like your person in the past definitely knew there needed to be balance, but there was, I don't know, some type of temptation for money or to be like just putting that first find the finances and the career first and that kind of like took a toll on the relationship okay king of swords getting truthful this person is getting truthful now that we have um cancer pisces again we have libra gemini aquarius again um let's get one more card Okay, Ace of Pentacles, so a new opportunity. A lot of Pentacle energy, so I do feel like money is always going to play a role. Finances and career is always going to be the connecting factor between the two of you here. Um, I just, I feel like your person is just very um, work-oriented or um, they just doesn't seem to be a lot of affection like the affection that comes through from your person is not just an apology but it's the it's the page of cups so there's no deep cup energy here the per your person does have deep feelings but they they don't show it they, they they show a little bit here and there and i do feel like they're gonna show that to you that they do love you and they they do care about you um and that they want to be able to provide and bring something to the table here with you, but the, it feels like you might get a gift from this person. Mm. And there is an element here of a new beginning in um, investing into this connection again. If you want it, it's yours. Um, but I feel like if you're expecting your partner to be more affectionate, more emotionally open to you, like right at the start, um, keep your expectations low about that because it feels like your person is very finance and career oriented. It's not that they don't have deep feelings, but 
you may need, some of you may need to just be done with this. It may not be something that fulfills you. And for others, there, you may transition out of, just let go of the dead ends and try to focus on the more positive aspect of this connection. And the death card is Scorpio energy. Okay, and the star is here, Aquarius. So this is your message, you know, keep the faith, Virgo. You know, don't, you don't have to worry about, um, there's hopefulness here. There's hope here with the star, there's renewal. Okay, miracles can happen. <laughs> but um, it just kind of feels to me like there will be an apology for that. And I do feel going forward, your person will commit more to the relationship and will try to make amends and um, be more generous and reciprocal with this with your relationship and try to bring more positivity. They may even be coming to see you or connecting with you and try to be more positive. But this person is just, it seems very, they get easily tempted by lucrative contracts and deals and money and fortune and all that stuff they get easily tempted by that and i think that um they just tend to put relationships on the back burner or they have in their past it did with you um but i definitely see that they're taking a look at that here pay attention to the red flags finances and career you know seeking balance in the relationship okay virgo so again if you want to get a personal reading from me there's a link in the description box below i hope you enjoyed that and i will see you all very soon take care